Okay, let's jump into it, Todd, and let's talk a little bit about, you know, this season towards the end of the year. We talk about it a lot. Um, winter time, good time to sell, bad time to sell, bad time to buy, good time to buy. We even had questions on this from other agents around the country on right. how do you inform and educate people because I don't know how to do that. And yeah. so that's been a, a, con a common theme that we've had in our consulting group this past week. Let's start with what you don't do, okay? The, what, you, what I would not want you to do as a real estate professional right now is to tell your clients, We'll wait till spring and summer. Don't do that, right? If you're a real estate agent listening right now, be more than a one trick pony, right? Which by the way, that just means you have, you only have one trick. You only have one strategy. You only have one cool thing you do, right? Do we all know what that trick is that the pony does by the way? Uh, well, a lot of it is just spinning around in a circle. Got let's it. be honest with you. A lot There's some pretty cool equestrian trick. My daughter wants to get into horse riding and I'm I haven't fully decided if, I, if we can be those people, but but I'm just imagining like a juggling pony or something. We, anyway, I we, digress. We love horses and we love the country, but there's a whole another ball game to get into, like you know, super well trained horses and stuff. But anyway, all that to say, that's not a good approach to being a world class expert real estate agent. Is to say I only have one strategy. It's a spring summer strategy. It's a hope buyers get a house for less than the sellers asking or hope a seller puts a sign in the yard and gets a buyer, like just wait and get a buyer. Like that strategy is pretty low bar. That's not world-class. That's not expertise. That is like, I got my license on the internet late at night and we're friends. So you're going to do me a favor and I'll get a commission and hopefully you don't get hosed. That's what I would not want people to do. Now, what advice would I give as we approach the end of the year, beginning of the year, colder fall, winter weather, fall, winter season, uh, winter break from school, that kind of stuff, is I would encourage real estate agents to think more critically, to understand the market and the history of the market and the trends and momentum of the market. And then I would encourage the consumer, the buyer, seller, investor, to carefully choose a real estate professional that has the ability and then really the track record, they've proven they have the ability to create a customized approach. If you're selling, that's a customized marketing and sales and really, um, you know, follow through approach, execution approach. How are you going to do, how are you going to actually execute that plan? And then on the buy side, what's the custom plan? How are you going to execute that plan? So here's what I recommend for a buy. This is buying season. If you, if you're, if you follow us on Facebook, just go find at Todd Tremonti or at Todd Tremonti Realtors. And we've been putting out some marketing material lately that says it is buying season. Like if you're a home buyer, this isn't exactly like let's throw a parade and go steal houses. That's not happening right now. But this is your best shot probably in the last 10 months and in the next five or six months at least to get a little more leverage in your buying process, right? And the reason is as we head into fall and winter, generally on average, seller confidence goes down. Sellers start thinking, shoot, we missed spring and summer. It's my grass is starting to die. It's a little funky outside. People are thinking about the holidays. If we don't sell it now, we got to wait till next spring and summer and we miss the opportunity. And so maybe we should lower our price. Maybe we should be willing to do those repairs for the buyers, that kind of thing, right? If you're a buyer, that's good for you. It also just so happens that as a buyer, right now you're looking at the lowest interest rate that has ever existed in your lifetime for buying a house, regardless of how old you are. And if you're thinking about borrowing money, not everybody is, but if you are, I can't, I can't emphasize enough what a financial advantage that is to you. If you're borrowing for 30 years or 15 years, you're talking about a compounding benefit for the next 15 to 30 years. It's an unbelievable advantage. Now, if you're a seller, there are strategies to flip that and use that to our advantage as well. But for the sake of time, I'll just say, if you're buying or selling now, you have the opportunity with a great agent, I would recommend the Todd Germani Home Selling Team with a great agent to customize a strategy and to win big on both sides of this market.